Okay, so I wanted to do a series of videos on uh, connections. Um, so uh, I'm just going to start. So let, I, let's start with the most basic setup. Um, so Y is going to be a uh, uh, so this is going to be just be a, a, a vector, a column vector, which depends on a parameter t. Uh, let's say it's a vector of length r, so it looks like y1 to yr. Okay, and each of these will be uh, functions of some parameter t. You can think of it as a complex variable for now. Um, and then we'll take uh, a of t will be uh, uh, just an r by r a matrix. Okay, um, that's it. So we can view it as, yeah, R by R matrix. Okay, and then we can just look at a, a system of, of differential equations. And so what I'm going to describe now is the local version of uh, what a connection is. So this is just a system of ODEs, or an ODE, if you, um, you know, ordinary differential equation. Um, if you just want to view it as a matrix equation or something. So that's it. Uh, and so let me just start with some of the things that are going to be involved. So uh, there's there in, in, in every system of ordinary differential equation, there's going to be um, a covariant derivative. Okay, there's going to be a covariant derivative. Uh, uh, there's going to be a connection and there's going to be a connection a matrix, so a matrix of one forms, and I want to show you what they are. So the covariant derivative is the following. Um, here, we'll, we'll rewrite this equation. Okay, this is the same thing as um, minus a of t, y. Okay, and then here we, we see it, this guy here, so this operation is the covariant derivative. So this is the covariant derivative, this dude here. This is the covariant derivative. Okay, so it's like um, a derivative, but it, it, it kind of uh, has this like little matrix adjustment. Um, so when we're going to be talking about connections and curvature and these things, uh, what we're really talking about is this operation where we kind of have this this differentiation, uh, so the differentiation acts on each one of these guys, but then we're going to modify by a, a matrix. Okay, so this is the covariant derivative. Okay, so the next thing we want to talk about is uh, the matrix of one forms. Um, Okay, so we take our, our um, we take our differential equation. Uh, okay, so we have this differential equation, and uh, this is the same thing. Well, if I'm going to multiply both sides by dt, um, let's say dt times y. Okay, so this is kind of a matrix of one forms here. Uh, this is equal to zero. Um, and so this guy is the associated matrix of one forms. Okay, and um, sometimes we'll call this omega uh, later on. Um, and then the connection, so where is the connection? So the connection is comes from this piece. So you can see that this equation here so star is really saying um, d plus uh, omega. Let's say this this is minus omega. So well, it depends on what the sign is. So um, let's say that this is minus a of t dt. Okay. So this thing here is omega. So d plus omega. So this is the connection. This operation uh, is the connection. Okay, so um, and, and let me tell you how d acts. So here we have a bunch of we have a vector here, and um, and d 
is just going to act on each one of these functions by taking d of each one individually. Okay, and so let's call this uh, setup here. Um, so this thing we'll, we'll call the uh, basic uh, connection for a vector bundle, for a trivialized vector bundle. Okay, so a connection. Uh, so when we give a connection, what we're really doing is, is specifying uh, a bunch of local systems of differential equations. Okay. That being said, I can I can now say what the actual definition is. So uh, so so what are the ingredients? So S is going to be a space. So in our case, we're going to be interested in schemes, but. Maybe you're interested in manifolds or something else if you stumbled upon this video. Uh, M is going to be a vector bundle on S. Uh, so this is a vector bundle. And uh, we're always going to abuse notation. Um, M, so, so M is really the sections of a physical vector bundle. So this is like a space here. So we think of this as, as a, a variety or scheme or manifold. Um, and then here, this is this thing sits over uh, S, and then we take sections of it. Um, but sometimes we will identify, often identify, the locally free sheaf M, M, uh, with the vector bundle, the physical vector bundle. E. So this will happen, for example, in, in five seconds with, uh, not five seconds literally, but with uh, derivations and um, the tangent bundle. Okay, so uh, this is, this is the, what we need, and now I can define a connection. So a connection on M uh, is a map, is a morphism of abelian groups of sheaves of abelian groups, uh, abelian groups here from M to omega 1 of S, uh, tensor with M. So sometimes we, we fix uh, a relative, uh, so, so some constants here, so maybe this, this space sits over another space, and then you want uh, the, the derivative with respect to um, the thing that it sits over to be constant. Um, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna put that in the notation, but we could do that if we wanted to. So it's a morphism of sheaves of abelian groups such that, uh, the following holds, um, such that, uh, so for all F uh, local sections and, and uh, vectors, um, so this is for this, that we're gonna have the following identity. It's just a Leibniz rule um, here. So when we multiply them, so this is the module multiplication or vector space multiplication. So we're just going to have this, uh, this times V um, plus uh, F times the, the covariant or the, the connection of uh, nabla of uh, V. Okay, and I'm going to put this in quotes. Okay, so this is just a Leibniz rule. But we have to remember what we mean by this. This really means DF uh, tensored with V. So that lives in here plus uh, F times this. And so this is just the usual, um, uh, again, module multiplication. But we have to, we just have to remember what this means. Okay, so this is what a connection is. It's just this, this map here that does a, a Leibniz rule thing. Okay, so, uh, so I had this, and so now I can talk about what a covariant derivative is. Um, okay, so a covariant derivative Okay, well, it's um, so what we're going to do is it's it is um, a map uh, they, this guy here, and so I got need to give you this defi this definition here. Um, so uh, here, uh, what it does is it takes uh, v, so and so v is going to be an element here of m, and uh, it what it does is it pairs off. Um, 
this guy with uh, theta. So theta here is a derivation, derivation of s. Or we could say that, it, again, abusing things, that this would be the tangent bundle of s. Okay. And uh, so here you can note that uh, this this only pairs off uh, off uh, omega one of s with uh, t of s, okay, and leaves an element of e of uh, of uh, e or of m, okay. Okay, so again. Uh, we have uh, this guy here, and it's in here. So uh, if we we pair it with a tangent vector, it's gonna it's gonna produce functions when we pair them, and then we're just gonna be left with an element of m. Okay. So um, note. So let's let's make some quick observations. Okay. So this thing is um, a linear. Right, so if we were going to take two of these guys, apply it to v, so then this would just be adding theta one and theta two. So this would just be theta one of v plus theta two of v. Okay. Another observation is that uh, here, when we take f v, uh, well, this is just going to be theta of f times v plus f of here, the covariant derivative of. Um, of v with respect to theta. Okay, so um, so that's that. Uh, so let me talk about some things. Uh, so so some popular examples where this this formalism works. Okay, so. I have a list. I'm not going to say them all, but um, we're in in the in the channel are going towards this this uh, Gauss-Mannin and characteristic p type things. Um, but there's there's like these things called Levi-Civita connections. So in the case when we take e to be equal to the tangent space here, uh, what it does is is so if this is a, a sphere here. Let's see. Okay, this is a sphere. Okay. And what we can do is, is what it does is it allows us to talk about curvature of vector bundles. So we can take like say a vector here and then we can move it around. Okay. Okay. So we can move it around here and then, okay. So if we, we start to parallel transport it around like this, so this is a thing called parallel transport, which you'll see is that uh, when you move it back around here, um, so you you end up finding that uh, you, this space is curved. So so there's a thing called this thing is called the Levi-Civita connection, a Levi-Civita uh, connection of a Riemannian or pseudo-Riemannian manifold or pseudo-Riemannian manifold. So we care about pseudo Riemannian manifolds because of uh, general relativity, because the the metric on the Riemannian manifold is not uh, positive definite. Um, okay, so this is the Levi Chibi. So so for any um, uh, Riemannian manifold, you can make a special connection on this guy, which tells you how to transport vectors around. So tangent vectors around your manifold, and then uh, what it'll end up doing is it'll allow us to talk about the curvature of the manifold. So this is a, a cartoon, okay? Um, so and then getting into this type of this this special example using that definition that I just did uh, will allow you just to, to start studying things like general relativity or space time. Okay, so there's other examples. Um, so well, if you start to look at vector valued connections, right? So where you where you have e not being here, this this tangent bundle, then you can start to do um, uh, more interesting things. And so these, so in physics these are gauge theories. In math these these come up examples of this include the Gauss-Mannin connection, or and which which is a version of the Penn-Levy equations. Uh, well, well, so, okay, so 
So the gauss monod connection for a particular instance are these Picard-Fuchs equations, which are related to these Penleve equations, which are kind of fundamental equations that always appear. Um, and so, uh, okay, so, so there's, there's all those examples, but let me talk about, um, let me give you a, an important picture. Uh, the other important picture that I wanted to draw is this, uh, this parallel transport picture. Okay, so this is a standard picture. Uh, so you have a, a total space and a base space here and you have a map between them and then for each point here you have maybe a fiber here so this is uh, so this is sometimes a vibration topologically if this if this thing is what's called a flat manifold so okay so there's kind of two words that are flat are going to appear flat is in this family and flat is in um, the connection uh, we won't so uh, when you when you have a family like this it turns out that topologically all these so say this is a of complex varieties over C, all these fibers will be identical, and you can maybe wind around points where it's not defined and interesting things will happen. But uh, let me just say uh, what we're doing here. Um, so what you can do is you can take a tangent vector here, okay, and and uh, what we'll want to do is is we'll want to look at tangent vectors maybe at a, some points, so we'll pick a point above this point in the base, and you'll notice that it has lots of different directions here, okay, so this is maybe this is this direction here is sometimes called the horizontal space okay and then this direction this vertical direction is called the vertical space okay and so for each horizontal direction uh, there's and you, for for each point above here uh, there's lots of directions that you can pick for the vertical direction and so a preferred choice of vertical direction is given by the data of a connection and using that right you'll you'll be able to take so so if we have a path down here, uh, what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to lift it to a unique path in the, in the top by solving a, a, the differential equation given by the connection. So you're given an initial vector here, um, which which goes down to here. So you're given maybe some extra piece of the of the vertical space. So again, this this has two pieces, right? And this has one piece. This vertical piece is not given to us if we're if we're just given something down here. So, uh, but what you can do is if you're given a connection and you're given this initial direction, then you can solve for this parallel transport. So it allows you to take this, 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 uh, it allows you to move uh, uh, in paths in this, this total space here. In general, it allows you to move data around um, your, your vector bundle, or sorry, data around uh, in your vector bundle, uh, in each of the fibers of the vector bundle, uh, given motion in the, in the base. Okay, so um, so that's all I really wanted to say about that. The, um, there's there's this concept of monodromy that'll be fun to play with and um, and uh, so in the next video I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about some local computations with um, with covariant derivatives and connections.